Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial guide for Age of Mythology. I'm going to just select the Oasis map uh, so that I can show you the real sort of basics. So essentially, and I'll just put this on hard uh, because it, it's kind of stupid to play against easy bots. So when you start the game up, you want to have your fingers over H and V. The instant the game starts, press H and then press V, which centers you on your hometown center and then starts looping villagers. Next, look around for your hunt. Put a storehouse right down in the middle of the hunt. Then grab your scout, press or click somewhere, then click shift, and just move the mouse around and click sort of in a complete circle and end back in your town center. So this will make your scout go wherever you clicked. You can also do this with buildings. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you click shift, you'll see that you can keep clicking somewhere else. So I'm just going to have that guy go build a house, because one of the worst things possible is to get population blocked. Like you can't keep building because there's not enough uh, sort of available space. Upgrade hunting dogs immediately. That is the most important thing for you to upgrade. Then let's go out a little bit. I generally do not like taking the gold right next to our base. So let's go grab some of this gold. So I'm just going to send a couple of villagers over this direction. So they're going to go there. With this thing, this is not very useful, so just put it down right away. And then have two villagers go and start getting wood. So what we're aiming for with this build in Age of Mythology is we want to get to the next age quickly, but we also want the instant we advance to the next age to be able to put a new town center in. This is okay. I'm hoping there's a town center in this sort of area. Because what you want to try to do is put your town centers down in places where you're going to be able to start kind of pushing towards the enemy. Because Age of Mythology is really a pushing game. You're not going to really get that much out of just kind of sitting back and working on population. It's very much one of those games where if you don't push, the enemy will, and then you'll lose. So you'll notice it's 2.20 right now. So I'm doing quite good for the time being. It's important, though, that you don't ever sort of just rest, sit back, and kind of enjoy yourself. The first six minutes or so of the game are critically important to the rest of the game. So the scouts idle, fantastic. That's what I was looking for. So you'll see that, and you notice I'm just clicking so that I'm going to have as much of the map explored as possible. So the enemy team is, let's just go over here and click on one of his buildings. He is Zeus. OK, so he's a Greek god, which means that He'll probably try to attack me at around the seven minute mark. If he was like a Norse god, I would be really scared because he might be attacking anywhere as near as like right now. So we're gonna go send one more person up to gold. And now you notice I've got four on food, which is not good because those guys are supposed to be over here. Just take a random villager and put the temple about right here. You notice it's sort of between me and him. I think what would probably have been better is if I had put it right here, but you don't want to do any of that sort of beginner stuff where you put all your stuff in the way back of your base. And then you finally want to get a wall. A lot of noobs emphasize building tons and tons of walls. Don't do that. Just build a few walls because what's going to end up happening is you're gonna you're going to get attacked eventually but you want to have just enough walls so that you can't really get hurt too badly notice we're right next to our population thing just take someone off immediately and put them on building houses 
houses should surround a watchtower. That way, when the enemy attacks you, they're going to have to kind of get past your watchtower before uh, anything else can happen. Also notice, my wood and gold are relatively doing pretty good. We're aiming to get to 300 of both wood and gold so that when we advance, we'll be able to just take a town center immediately. Notice, this is the gold that I'm taking from right now. It's right next to his base area. So if I was just being kind of lazy and taking this gold right here, I'd be limiting my options later in the game. Oh dang, this is not what you ever want to see. So let's just find some more food and just go right over here and start getting more food. Now, we want to build another short wall just right near the top of our base. You notice what I'm doing is I'm walling it in. So when I make these into towers that can fire at people, you're going to basically have a really strong advantage because the enemy can't just escape. They have to walk all the way around the towers. So if you, a lot of people say if you advance later than six minutes, you're essentially dead. I've been doing a lot of talking here, so I'm in a more advanced pretty much right around six, I'm hoping. But the, the key point is, let's just get you guys over here. Um, the, the whole point of this is to sort of show you how to do well in Age of Mythology yourself. So I'm, I'm probably not going to advance quite as quickly as I wish I could have. But so let's see. We've got 16 people on food. So this should be it right here. Take Restoration, the God Power with Restoration, because that's really useful. Notice, you're able to advance immediately. So let's go down here. Uh, I do want to take this town center right down here. Take tons and tons of villagers because you want to advance really quickly. Um, and let's go down here as well. Population, we're at 33. So let's build another house right here. And again, you notice whenever I'm building something, I'm trying to wall in one of the sentry towers. Because the sentry towers are quite easy to kill, but you want to always make sure that the sentry towers are able to just keep firing as quickly as possible. So again, you notice all the hunt I'm starting to take is right next to where his base is. So we see this thing flying over this way. It's going to see this gold mine. That's OK. Um, OK, and as soon as we advance, we're just going to smack down this town center here. There we are. Good. So just make sure everyone's working on this town center. What you can also do is press Alt-S and just click on the town center. That way, even if they start getting attacked, they'll just stay there and keep working. OK. That's kind of fairly common to see them just kind of immediately kill something. It's a very newbie play as well, because that lightning bolt can also be used against a titan later on in the game. So this is sort of, to wrap it up, the sort of really introductory uh, sort of stuff you should be working on. Now you want to get, let's say, five is a good amount. Uh, go up here, start getting gold. Now, we need to go back down here. You guys, all of you, go over here and start getting wood. You're sort of switching what you're working on. Uh, you guys get here, get wood. Start looping villagers from the second town center. Also grab as many myth units as you can. But loop villagers. So that way, you'll be able to max out your population very quickly. You notice these things that I put down early on are already starting to do their job. Now, your key priority, get pickaxe first, then get hand axe, and now just keep working as frantically as you can. Right now, you should also upgrade plow. And once you've upgraded plow, then you can start building some farms. But the this sort of ends the sort of first episode here of my sort of tutorials on how to play this game.
Now you want to get, just before we end, get two stables. Just put them right next to your base and one military academy. So that way, he's going to be attacking me, like, right now. And uh, we honestly should have someone else help this person build these. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the first installment. And this, it, it, it'll make it really easy for you to start gaining, uh, gaining a better understanding of this game, essentially. And yeah, there, see, he's attacking right now. I'm going to be seeing you guys all in my next episode on this. But thanks again for watching this one, and I will see you all in my next thing. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll help me a lot. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.